Hey there, my name is Mike Montgomery and today I'm going to show you how to build this incredibly simple jig for bending sheet metal all the way up to plate steel on Modern Builds. If you want to see this jig in action, make sure and follow the link in the description where I'll be using it to make the monitor stand for a desk build. To start, I got my inch and a half thick polystyrene insulation as a cutting mat. Then, I lay down some three quarter inch pine plywood that I'll be building the base out of. The base for this jig is two pieces of three quarter inch plywood glued together. I use Gorilla Glue wood glue because it dries closest to the natural color of wood than any other wood glue I've used. Most dry to a really yellow color that sticks out and looks really bad. Here I'm using my Maker Brand F-Style clamps to clamp my two pieces of plywood together so that I now have an inch and a half thick base. After trimming my plywood base to size, I got some inch and a half by inch and a half angle steel that's an eighth of an inch thick. I used my angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut it to the same width as my plywood base. From there, I marked out locations and used my punch so that I could drill holes where bolts will be attaching this break to the base that's made out of plywood. This metal piece, which I'm calling the break, attaches to the end of the plywood base. And here, I'm using a pencil to mark out locations so that I can drill holes that bolts will be going through later on. I did my best to try and drill as vertically as possible, but hey, it doesn't have to be perfect. And after flipping the base over, I could put my bolts in. And as you can see, they have a rounded head, which means that the bolts themselves need to be recessed so that the base can sit flat against a tabletop. I drilled four holes, but I'll only ever be using two bolts. Drilling multiple holes allow me to span them at different widths depending on the size of metal that I want to bend. The break just goes over the bolts and then I'm able to thread on some wing nuts to tighten everything down. It's my understanding that whenever you're bending plate steel, you wanna cut a groove half the thickness of your material wherever you want that bend to be. I'm gonna use the angle grinder on this eighth inch thick plate steel to cut a 16th inch deep groove. If you've been watching my videos recently, then you've seen me doing this, especially on the desk video that I put out last week. I made my groove with the cutoff wheel and then switched to a grinding wheel to make the bevel. All right, let's see if this works. Hmm. That's a little tougher than I feel like it should have been, but I do have a good idea for a little more leverage. Check this out. I had some scrap pieces of plywood laying around that I used as clamp on handles. As an idea, I like the clamp on handles because it's adjustable. If I had a 20 inch wide piece, I can spread it all the way to the edge or a thinner piece, I could bring them in just like this. There we go, not bad for a first try. I'm gonna try cutting a little bit deeper of a groove this time. This time, instead of cutting halfway through my metal, I cut close to two thirds of the way through my stock. I also took a little bit longer with my grinding wheel to make a wider bevel so that there was less material to get in the way of my piece bending. Well, that second one was a lot easier. I don't think it was so much that I made a deeper groove, it was more that I did a more dramatic bevel on each of the edges. And what's really awesome about this jig is you don't always have to cut grooves. If you're using thinner metal, like this piece of sheet metal, you can clamp it down and bend it without any help. Although I did find that if I used one of my wooden handles to press the metal against the break, it got a lot cleaner of a bend. You can also bend a lot thicker metal. Here, I've got quarter inch plate steel. I cut a groove with the angle grinder, beveled the edges just like before, and I was able to bend that one in place with a little help from my clamped on arms. 
Since I cut two sets of holes on my angle stock and my platform, I was able to bring my bolts in closer so that whenever I tightened everything down, the points of contact were closer to where I was bending. So let me know what you think about these shop tool jig videos. They're a lot of fun to make and they really help expand what I can do creatively. If you plan on building this for yourself, make sure and download the plans linked in the description on my website. Check out the videos on the side and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below me. I appreciate all the support through the Maker Brand launch. If you're interested in clamps or finish, make sure and check out the link to the website as well. Thanks again everybody and we'll see you next time on Modern Builds.